Mission Catwalk is brought to you by MCV Keycard. I feel everybody, everybody. I feel everybody. Oh, the Hello designers. For your next mission, you will design a garment to celebrate the strength and courage of eight resilient cancer survivors. Each cancer has a specific color ribbon in the spectrum, and today you will consult with your special client to discover what color you'll be working with for this mission. You will have a budget of $4,000 for fabric at Pablo's and a trimming budget of $1,000. You will have eight hours to complete this mission. So let's bring in your client. This is Mission Catwalk Season 6, the Celebrity Edition. Twelve designers will join three celebrity teams to compete week after week for a chance at a designer celebrity collaboration. Over two million dollars in cash and prizes to be won. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? I guess it's a touchy subject for everyone, um, me in particular because two years ago my mom was diagnosed with colon cancer and it's really been like, um, you know, a, a struggle I guess, see, seeing her, knowing how vibrant and full of life she was to seeing her at her lowest. Say hello to your survivors. Hi. Hello. You will be making semi-formal attire and your survivors will choose their own designer. I welcomed the challenge, I was excited about it because I want her to feel very beautiful. The first thing came to my mind was that these people actually like survived. I actually have a friend still going through cervical cancer and she's the most positive person I know. Yeah, this one is for Carl. I got excited today when I saw how happy the survivors were that they beat this giant. My grandmother passed away from cancer two years ago. I was there when she died. Do I have to do this? It became a little bit more serious when I saw a few persons crying. I was hoping it was a challenger, you know, you, you could be creative or something, but... I noticed you were wearing your yes. a kimono. Yes, I do like, you know, kaftan type styles. So mm -hmm. that would be something that would suit me. And I want to feel regal. I am a two-time survivor. I had thyroid cancer when I was much younger. Mm -hmm. And then when I was around 24, 25, thereabout, mm -hmm. I had um, breast cancer. I've been diagnosed with breast cancer five years ago in 2013. It was actually on my birthday. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer 2014. 18 rounds of chemo and 30 rounds of radiation. When will you pain? Colorectal. Yeah. Okay, my grandfather so. had that. I'm glad you choose me because I kind of gravitated towards you and you're like a funky hair color and whatnot, right? Going in the process is just not bits. I start to do things, what I was going to expect before okay. it happened. I'm a very recent survivor. I'm still experiencing hot flashes. So for me, in wearing something, it's going to have to be very flowy. Because mm -hmm. if air can't go through, then I'm going to have a problem. <laughs> okay. So what has been like the biggest lesson that you have learned throughout just, your journey? Just to love myself Fantastic. more. I'm so inspired by that. What type of feeling do you want to like invoke when you walk into the room? Feeling almost like Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, because you know Rihanna could walk into a room with like, out. But I want all the eyes on me, but for you the right reason. Right, for the right reason. My survival story is very interesting. She wanted was to feel empowered, to feel strong. And so we kind of tied those two things together with my aesthetic and decided to do like this gown. I want to feel on top of the world. Mm -hmm. I got a second chance to life. If you're going to make clothes, mm -hmm. it has to look sexy. Okay, all right. <laughs> so so sexy stush. Sexy stush. Yeah. Uh, Head turn, that's something there. Oh, you want to turn heads like? I'm with not with sure. glass slippers, man. Oh, Cinderella? Sure. 
Faluki Relawaki, you know what I'm after that. Yeah, yeah, something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you just write down Faluki Rela. So, right. so, so you know where. My client, he's very funny, he's vivacious, he's. He, today just told me, make it sexy. He loves the dashiki vibe, but because it's a semi formal challenge and because the judges, I don't want to just be cookie cutter and just make a dashiki shirt with a pants. I'm trying to make it more tailored. How do you want to feel going in? Triumphant. Yes. Easy, breezy. Nice. And it's beautiful. Nice. When I walk in that room, someone should say, wow, there's a difference. Persons who have been through a lot, I've always liked to dress those persons. I always want to make people feel beautiful and look different from how they normally look. So I want to do like a really exaggerated flared silhouette on you. I don't want my stomach to be too high. It wouldn't be, don't worry. I'm bearing in mind that I only have one breast, so okay. you are limited um, in terms of the left hand side. Okay. Um, after meeting Sandra, um, she's full of life and she told me something. She said um, that now she even more so she lives life to the fullest. So that really inspired me to just create a statement piece for her, something that she would stand out in and not really fade into the background. I like second skirt above my knee. The top, mm -hmm. it's supposed to look normal. Well, Nadine, I don't do normal. Mm? I don't do normal. I want to design something that brings out your personality, that brings life to your presence. So it's gonna be very extravagant. I didn't come here to design simple stuff. I came here to showcase my taste in design by doing art. And what's your favorite color? Well, I don't have a favorite color, you know. It's a touching week. Yeah. So very heavy on you. Mm-hmm. All right. So what do you guys have in mind in terms of design and such forth? Because of course, you know, it has to be very uplifting, very encouraging. And you know, it's like it's almost like a representation of your fight. If you understand what that's yeah. Like. So I'm gonna do like paneling at the bottom of the dress. It's a long, flowy dress, and I'm gonna panel it at the bottom. You'll see the plum color and the grey in and out, and then I'm gonna. Drape the two colors at the top. <laughs> okay. The challenge is it's 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 a tough one. It's tough because we're not using model like the models that we're used to. We're like we have actual cancer survivors and most of them are older women. So, and we've never sewn for them before. And then a part of the challenge is that they have to feel comfortable in whatever you make for them. So, yeah. We didn't listen to the angel and put a little makeup on my face this morning. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? This segment was brought to you by Pablo's, the official fabric store for Mission Catwalk. I don't have any cash. No problem. What's this? This is your never miss a sale anywhere, anytime, very secure, accepts debit and credit cards device. So we can use it? Yup. I can't carry it anyway? That's right. So it only does this? Mm, no. You can also do this. Mm. Is it safe? The best EMV chip technology. Nice. Honey, how about this one? So we can accept US and key card now? Absolutely. Can I see how much money the drivers collect? Yup. Look at your tablet. So I can see real-time transactions? Yup. Mm-hmm. Even out there. In short, it's your NCB mobile card machine. Never miss a sale anywhere, anytime. Get yours today. Campari Pop Style is back at it again. This is the chance for Jamaica's most stylish male and female to win $100,000 in Pines Plaza, Junction St. Elizabeth, Saturday, October 27. Simply come dressed to impress the Campari Pop Style.
while, I'll be your host, the fluffy diva Miss Kitty. So you know say it now, nah, go normal, I'll be a niceness. We have tons of entertainment in store for you, from our celebrity guest selectors and performers. So come out and see. Follow us at Campari Caribbean for more details. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? able to make something for a survivor. I'm, I'm honored so, so to see her walk down the runway and something that I made is her stepping out and say, hey, saying, hey, I have my life. She actually found this out on her birthday which was really sad for me to think about. So I wanted to do something special for her, something rich, something elegant, something that she'd feel beautiful in. So I'm excited about it. So I immediately knew I wanted like an electric pink, something that's bold and impactful. So I really wanted to give her something that was kind of fluid but still have a bit of structure. So I, I'm going with like a natural cotton. Being in the Caribbean again, um, it's you know it's breathable and light and airy. I'm excited about it, but time, I'm not excited about the time. Oh gosh. I'm getting anxious because it's the first time I'm doing menswear and so it took me a while to figure out the pattern and all of that. Thank God for Stephen. Stephen took off his pants and his shirt and gave it to me <laughs> to use as a template. Tell me about your look. I wanted to do a strong look for her. She's tall. How old She's is she? She's mature. I think around 40 something. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. It seems age appropriate, but I don't know if I love all of this extra stuff going on. Yeah. You already have a, you know, you already cinched the waist with the belt. Yeah. And I like that you're bringing this nice womanly shape, mm -hmm. but this just seems like it's too much. It's too much. You can. Is this pinned? Yes. Let's it's just pinned. So let's we can remove that and it. see what that looks like. Because I think that's already pretty. He wanted me to edit some parts, which I wasn't sure about it in the first place, so it wasn't bad at all. We both decided that we wanted to do something that was a bit more vibrant and something that would tie in three colors that for her cancer, I guess if that makes sense. Right. Yeah. Before you even continue, this shape looks so familiar, like the last challenge. You think so? Sweetheart in the black and then you had that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fabric I think is really pretty, but I want you to really take it to another level or okay. just show us something really new and different. Okay. I, the shape just looks, just stop me if I'm wrong, but the shape looks similar. Uh, it, I think the top is a bit similar, but it's going to be a full skirt with the split. Okay. Will this also be in the print? Yes. It's a lot of print. A lot of print. I would love maybe like, this could just be like a solid pink. Mm. I'd have to see if someone can lend me. Oh, you didn't buy any plain pink at all? No, I didn't. I was inspired by a lily, so I took one of the leaves okay. and made it into a flower from the waist going around the shoulder. I'll be attaching an arm strap from the shoulder to the back. I added a peplum, not going all the way around, but just to one side. You guys keep repeating yourselves here. You know, we want to see something different and new. Maybe we try having this, you know, flowing down or cascading down. I think it's pretty. I, I can't give you a, back, a bad critique. I'm doing much better in this one. I think I'm way, way more creative. But tiredness, 
played a part in the fact that I, I am very ambitious when it comes on to designing and creating stuff and I won't be able to achieve them within the time given. Now I wanted to depict a sense of um, regrowth and uh, new beginning and uh, she... But the dress is very dead. It's well it's removable. So I'm going to have a dress underneath. Then show me, because since you've been here, you have color blocked like this almost every challenge. Really? Every, almost every challenge except the garbage challenge, you have not done this color block. All also, right. this is just ugly on top of this, I think. You think, I think it's this really, is ugly? Yeah, I think it's ugly. It's already sewed, it's already sewed on. <sighs> She's a survivor. This is not screaming, I survived. This is just saying I'm timid and I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm grateful to be here. I want an excitement. I, I want to feel like I really kicked cancer's ass. You know, my aim really isn't to be safe. On the day, you're so happy to be safe, I think. Um, but uh, you want to you wanna put out the best and you want to be amongst the best. Thinking about it, I'm going to put in, you know, get it right. We're not asking for plunging neckline. We're not asking for anything scandalous. Just make it fresh. I like the lace with this here. Why not? Yeah. Let me see what I can do. It's my first time doing, doing menswear. Okay. So everything is in pieces. I'm, I'm figuring out the parts as I go along. He's, he's an artist. He's Rastafarian. He loves very simple, very laid back. He's a fan of the dashiki okay. vibe, yeah. Hence so, this African print. <laughs> yeah. And he survived colon cancer, so the color for that is blue. So will the pants be in the entire... In white. It's white. Hold on. So you're doing a white pant with yeah, this print is the frame in the pockets, line in the pockets? The, the, the welt pockets. Okay. Yeah, so th this is... The tailoring will not be a problem for me. It's just a fit that I'm worried about. And the top is white as well. The all white, I don't know. It's a bit much. Mm -hmm. And we need to see very masculine colors and very masculine seams in the pants as well. The last person who did menswear, they're no, they're no longer here. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? This segment was brought to you by the University of Technology, Jamaica. To all females, if you are being abused, call a woman incorporated's counseling hotline so we can help you find a way out. Let's, Let's save, save our, our women, women, Jamaica. Oranges, nature's gift to us. Sunshine, dewdrops, and fresh air give us the sweet succulence of pure orange juice. We just bottle it. Pure country orange juice. Taste the pure country difference. See what Buzz Magazine is all about. Health, fitness, fashion, and beauty. We've got the scoop on sex and relationships, sports, music, and entertainment. See yourself or spot the who's who on Buzz photo pages. Buzz, the Caribbean lifestyle magazine with a difference, keeping you in the know while you're on the go. Your personality is your music, your entertainment, your lifestyle, your magazine. Buzz Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Get your copy now. Available at bookstores, pharmacies, and supermarkets island-wide. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? Steven, tell me about your look. She has a big personality. She has like blonde hair and she wears these kind of quirky glasses. So she's not shy? No, she's not. She definitely okay. has a sense of style, so that made it my, my job much easier. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going like a big, fun, flirty kind of swing dress. And I'm gonna do like slits on the side seam, just to the front, so it can be belted. Why do you want to belt this? I think it's so good as it is. As is. Yeah, it reminds me of um, a long van kind of a dress, even okay. just the way you've draped it. Okay. This yeah. looks so expensive already, and I think the color is fantastic. This fuchsia. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to go with like the traditional, you know, Pepto Bismol. Pepto -Bismol. Color. Yeah, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I would edit. I would not add a belt. Okay. She loves showing off her feet and her shoulders, so I just wanted to give her that sex appeal, but still keep her bold and, and youthful and, you know, make her be noticed and not um, fade in the crowd. She suffers from breast cancer, oh. so she wants a... I give her some sketch and she chooses a formal jumpsuit, so I'm creating an all-pink formal jumpwear for her. 
and she she chose yeah. this very simple dress. Simple. What can you do to just take it? I don't know somewhere else to another dimension. Again, we're making a dress for her, uh, you know, but you're also competing, and we really want to make the client happy. But we also we need something stellar. It doesn't say I'm here to win a competition. I know she chose that, but you're gonna have to take it out of her box. So I presented her with six sketches. And out of all the six sketches, she chose the simplest one. And I tried to say, look, this is a, it's a competition. This is very simple. She said she wants to be comfortable. And um, that's it. That's the most boring outfit. I've ever made. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely going home. Because I don't want to change anything drastic on it. And she don't like it. And then that's a problem. So. But you do it tastefully. I'm not gonna sit here and take this going home thing. You guys like to throw that ball around a lot here. You're not doing this. We play to win. It's what she wants. But I'll see what I can do. Don't change it. Just make it the way I want it. I just. Yeah, Cassie, she. I just. Well, she had her, her session with Matteo. And he was pretty much saying that he didn't like the, the thing that she was making. But um, it's the client that she had, really. Uh, she showed the client some sketches and she didn't kind of like it. The pressure was too much <laughs> for Cassie, so she kind of had a mini meltdown. Well, I don't mean, know, it looks like the pressure reached Cassandra and my girl dip. I know if it works, but me take her thing so she can't. Me want to be upset too, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my personality, but yeah. He just hurt my feelings, and I am currently trying to not take it personal, so I do understand. It's not only the pressure, it's the challenge in general. She's coming back. I'm definitely going on with this challenge. It's the first, it's the first outfit going to display. I'm definitely going on. If you come out here one more time, you and I are going to fight the next time you get up out of here and walk out. All right. You won the last challenge. So the pressure is on. That's my only concern, because you know how to make a dress. But the pressure is on because this has to top the last performance. Well, because I'm doing plus size in terms of how um, Based on my design aesthetic, mm -hmm. it kind of limits me a little bit, just a little bit. All right. You'll tell Novia and Carlton that. <laughs> All right. This particular runway thing is stressful. It's so stressful. I like it. I like seeing the runway show, but when it's time to like to do the judges thing, I'm stressed the hell out. And I think it shows on my face. For Saturday, way behind. I am not fully prepared for Saturday, but... I will get it done. I just said I have to just cut the entire thing from off the mannequin and just go home. Maybe you should visit Kenya and get some gangsta in ya. I ride a flies, bus back home, is call my tattoo. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? This segment was brought to you by Singer. Back to school done, but mega money I run! From now to October 20, cash pot mega pot I run more money pon the gold mega ball! Yes! We can win $1,040 and up with any extra $10 mega ball bet and the silver mega ball come back! So we can win $560 and up! Plus, with the new green mega ball, we can win $460 and up! I still only two white ball in the mega pot, but with all the three mega ball every draw, it's easier to win a mega ball! Go Supreme Ventures now, cause cash pot mega money I run! Morning, sell one of those honey bun cinnamon roll, please. We don't have any more honey bun cinnamon roll. Honey bun. Honey bun. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? Get a yourself of things. I like you up by your dreams. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? This one on the wall? I'm Cassandra. I'm, you know, one of my team members. She decided to just leave, apart from leave. I have no explanation. Cassandra never gave me a memo. 
not a lie, not a letter, not a 50 cent call to tell me that she wouldn't be here today. So I was somewhat disappointed, but I just know how to hold it together. Okay, just tell me where you are. I will try to get a car to come for you. Please. Let's make her do this together. The first person woman think about are the cancer survivor. She was excited about wearing the dress. Yeah. And she was but there looking at the dress and saying that. Put her same way. If, if yeah. she, she answer, just um I'll talk to her. No, I'll disappoint you. I think maybe I tell her that you know, it's, it, it's not really about me. You understand? It's not about me. Hello designers and hello celebrity team leaders. Welcome to the catwalk and welcome to our viewers across the Caribbean. Our designers were asked to create a garment to celebrate the strength and resilience of cancer survivors. The judges will score your designs as they go down the catwalk and one will be named the winner and one will be going home. The judges deciding your fate will be Senior Associate Editor at the Jamaica Observer, Miss Novia McDonald White, International Menswear Designer, Carlton Brown, and our guest judge, marketing consultant and cancer survivor, Tara Playfair Scott. Now let's see your designs. Good luck. Oh my God. Oh. Hey. When she come for the area, so all the man them do I do. All the boys down Kuluku. You're failing me, baby, while I'm gonna I'm the king of the Kunto And the love in the way I do this uncle yeah. I'm a kawaii now in Jogodo Step that baby, come be mine now I do my shit now In a holy day, she don't take I do my shit now Say baby, give me your love I do my shit now Because I love you with all my heart Go do my shit now now If I give it to you, girl, you go joko do. Give me the control. Come here, come get in this photo. Yeah, my heart is bigger than the ocean. Baby, let me be your Aquaman. And if you give me your lotion, I'm available, girl. When you come for the area, so all the man them do I do. All the boys down Kologo. So let the girl dance to Kologo. You fail me, baby, while I'm gonna. I'm the king of the Kunto And the love in the way I do this uncle yeah. I'm a kawaii and jogodo Slim that baby come be mine now I do my shit now In a holy day she don't take me I do my shit now Say baby give me your love I do my shit now Because I love you with all my heart Come on my shit now if you give me your love and attention, you will never have to mention. You will be my direction every time you go home. All the man them go a jo, all the boys them go lo go. Say let me dance to go go. Baby, while I'm go lo, I'm the king of the condo. I do this and go. Baby, why I'm go go? Say, what I do, I love you, baby. What I do, I love you, baby.
We're gonna bring your models out for one final look and then bring you back to the cattle. Tell us about your team. One of the things is with cancer survivors, and this is from personal experience and me speaking with several, my mother is a cancer survivor. Um, when you have it, you actually feel betrayed. It's like your body betrays you. And after you've had an invasive procedure, you actually don't feel as sexy. You wonder if you're looking good to people. And what, what I'm feeling genuinely with the outfits from my designers is that it's illuminating the models from the inside. Yes, they're flowing and you need fluidity because one of the things that causes cancer is stress. And the fabrics are not too stiff, they're flowing and it really just kind of works with the body of the models. And I think anybody who would get one of these would definitely feel sexy. Ninja, tell us about your designers. My designers, um, unfortunately one of my designers opted to leave the team and um, I always encourage them and tell them never to give up. Two stick and stay and um, um, they're their displays are really nice. It complements the woman's body and it's looking really co quite comfortable. Um, she did a, a male piece as well and I really like it. It's very sleek, clean, fresh. And uh, I think they're here. We're here to, to fight and then to never give up. All right, um, based on conversation with, of course, um, the designers in my design house, I think they executed what they pitched to me initially. Um, as you can see, it's just, you know, different hues and array of colors. And I think the flair within each of them, you know, further, you know, says, okay, guys, we're fighting, you know, we're fun, we're beautiful. I'm a thing for any one of them here. If I go to New Kingston right now, it would have said. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? This segment was brought to you by Phase 3 Productions. Grab a copy for news you can use. Jamaica Observer, every day matters. This is the final runway showdown for Mission Catwalk, the celebrity edition. Be there to see which celebrity team will rule the catwalk. Saturday, November 10th at 7 p.m. at the Formal Gardens at Devon House. Turn heads on the Mission Catwalk red carpet and enjoy the spectacular collections from our top three celebrity teams. Tickets available at Devon House and Kenya Linton the team. This is the ultimate celebrity runway showdown. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? Okay, let's bring out the designers. When I call your name, please step forward. Renee, congratulations, your score has qualified you to continue on this mission. You may leave the catwalk. The six of you represent the strongest and weakest designs we saw this week. Let's bring out your models. Mercy, tell us about your look, please. Hello, so I was inspired by a lily, lily flower. That's why I made this right here. This is depicting the lily. It is folded right here because she went through some stuff and I had the um, pop of color because now she's living young, well and free. I like how you represented the color lily for the one shoulder effect. How do you feel in the dress? Excellent. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Okay, fine. The lily impact was nice. So that's all you needed. So where did all the peplum and all the danglings? So what inspired that? What is it, something fun? Well, your model is tall, she's elegant. Look at her hair, she's gorgeous. Fun, she's not a child. That peplum, the Allah that right there, it took away a lot from the dress. 
But I mean, in terms of your tailoring and skills, it's perfect. I really love how you do the, 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 the lily. The, the, it's beautiful. I like the design a lot. That, that lily and the way it goes over our shoulder, it's done very well. I think the dangling and the peplum just took away from a, a very well-designed dress. Thank you, Mercy. Colette, tell us about your look, please. Hello, judges. So I met Tina, and uh, she was so impressive. Immediately when I saw her, I thought of life and uh, um, something fresh to start anew. She loves um, captains, things that flow, and she wanted to include a regal or to channel a regal look. I thought a cape would be suitable. And under the cape, I still wanted the message. So I created this lovely bow here at the bust section, which sort of resembles the, the, the breast cancer bow. I didn't want it to be too obvious, so I got creative with it. And uh, um, yeah. I like the color palette. I quite like the silhouette of the cape and the pencil dress, but I feel there's something too heavy going on right here. Because you have, you have the beautiful flowers that you've handmade at the top of the cape. Then you have the big bow underneath all of that. It just feels very heavy, like you threw in the kitchen sink. Again, if you look at Tina, you see, you see the regal. I mean, you know, she's gorgeous. The cape is lovely. As well as, your, as well as the flowers that you did yourself, you did them by hand, that's lovely. The key to a dress like this, a coat dress as it were, the cut and appeal of that dress that's worn under, that, you know, a clean cut, beautifully made for Tina's body, which you've not taken into consideration. I think you got distracted with a cape. As a result of being distracted with a cape, the fit is awful. I'm sorry, you know, Tina deserves so much more. The fit is really, really bad. Um, first of all, just, just close it back from here, love. It's better that way. That's number one. Number two, you did well in terms of wearing the dress. You did, I must say that. There's only one dress I see on here that, that I say a steamer touch. Sorry, two. I'll point them out as I go along. You have tools, use them. I love the idea of this whole thing. Brilliant. The cape and it suits Tina's style and everything perfectly. I think if he had done a simple, I think it's called like a shift dress, just a simple a dress, dress a underneath dress. it, that when she took off the cape, mm. it just speaks for itself and it fits her well, you would have walked away with everything. Um, but I, I love the flowers, the color is great, and, in, and Tina is amazing. Thank you, Colette and Tina. Stephen, tell us about your look, please. Good day, judges. So my breast cancer survivor name is Sandra, and immediately I formed a connection with her because I just got like a good vibe and she reminds me of my mom. And my mom was actually diagnosed two years ago with cancer as well. So it was really like an emotional week. So I wanted to really create something that was just full of life and bold and impactful because I remember Sandra telling me that she lives life to the fullest now. So I wanted the dress to kind of represent that. So when she walks into a room, she's like the life of the party and she's definitely standing out in the crowd as opposed to fading into the background. Sandra, how do you feel in the dress? Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> feel sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do look fabulous. And when I saw this dress, I immediately thought this is a celebration, a celebration of strength and courage and just beauty. And you look radiant. The color is, it's just bright and radiant. The silhouette, the flow of it, and just your energy and your personality is coming out in the dress. And I absolutely love it. He listens. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I was just looking at the dress and wondering what would happen when Sandra hit the dance floor. <laughs> was there, is there anything underneath that? Um, you know, it's not. Yeah, next time put some shorts or something, yeah. yeah. It's really lovely, it's easy, breezy. I would not have worn those earrings though, because I think, you know, with that lovely statement bow at the side and the ring and the asymmetrical lines that, um, and the color, there was no need for the long dangling. In terms of your, your, your tailoring skills, Lovely. I can tell that this was effortless. This right? And your model, and your model, eh? you, you, you will not see this in our victory. <laughs> <laughs> job well done. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right? I'm going to say it again. Job well done. 
I love the color and I think it suits Sandra's personality perfectly. Also the design of it, and the first thing I thought as well, Novia, is she can get on the dance floor in the Yes. Spot, right? But um, You've not seen her on the dance floor though, so she would. <laughs> yes. I, I love it, I love the style of it, and I think it marries your design with her personality perfectly. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Rochelle, tell us about your design, please. Hi, judges. She fought breast cancer for two years, and when I was designing a garment, I wanted it to be symbolic of her cancer journey. So I went ahead and I researched colors because I didn't want to go too literal. So I decided to use gray, blush pink, and a shade of purple called amethyst. I used the pink to represent the breast cancer. I used the gray to represent the fight and the hardship that she faced while fighting the cancer. And the color, the shade of purple is used to represent protection of the vulnerable as well as an evolving soul. So that's why I chose these three colors because I wanted it to really be symbolic of her fight, fighting cancer. I like your design, Rochelle. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with the color palette a little. I like the palette, but not for this episode. Like I felt like you could have used something a little bit more celebratory. Like even if you did the gray, you could marry it with another shade that would lift the gray even more. Nothing is wrong with the gray. It's just using the right color palette. I like the dress. I actually like the, um, the sass of your model. I would have put her in heels though, because she likes to drag <laughs> a slipper effect. But um, it's fine, it's fine, it's comfortable. And she's obviously comfortable in it because I saw her warming up you know before the actual runway show so she's obviously comfortable in it you basically did your research right and that's important secondly you listen to your to your model but most important finish is key pauline you killed it on the runway okay <laughs> killed it only thing i wasn't really a fan of was the the sleeves part that blush pink just didn't seem to flow into the rest of the dress, but the dress fits her well, she rocked it well, and I think it looks quite nice. Thank you, Rochelle. Kiwana, tell us about your look, please. Hello, judges. So my client, or my model, is Carrie Ann, and at first glance, she came off a bit shy and modest, but she's actually a two-time cancer survivor. She was diagnosed with thyroid cancer at a young age, and at 24, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So what we wanted to do was to bring her personality, even though she seems a bit modest, she comes off a bit bubbly and she has some energy. So we wanted to do that, bring that energy forward with the print. And also we wanted to take into consideration the cancer colors on the cancer ribbon spectrum. The thyroid cancer ribbon has the pinks, it has the lilacs and it also has the blue. So I was able to find a print, a print that complemented that. And I just wanted to give her a nice silhouette and also have some fun on the shoulders as well um, for her cancer um, event. I like the print you chose to bring the colors together for the two different cancers. The silhouette is beautiful for her personality, very elegant, and I like the detail in the one shoulder. How do you feel? Fabulous. You look radiant, you're glowing, you look like you're beaming. You look like a very happy client. <laughs> You certainly are a gorgeous face of survival. So continue to glow and continue to survive. It all came together beautifully in the design, so kudos to, um, to you as well for that design. Really lovely, fits you nicely, you obviously feel comfortable in it. You obviously enjoy wearing it. So it was, I, I actually liked it. I have only two words, well done. That was succinct. Um, I think you're gorgeous. Um, I even saw you earlier and I was like, wow, she's stunning. And the dress complements you with the hair and everything came together well. And I didn't even realize based on the fact that it was, you know, thyroid and breast cancer and you found those colors, everything worked perfectly. Fits you well, you walked well in it. I think it's a win. Susanna, so tell us about your look, please. Okay, so my client today, she's Yula Lee. 
Um, Ilili survived breast cancer. Um, it was a rough time for her seeing that she found out about it on her birthday. I wanted to do a loose bottom for her because she wanted to feel free and for up here I added a bit of drama because she does like a bit of it. I chose this fabric because I think it's classy and mature and the silhouette as well. I wanted her to look bold, confident and strong to represent her personality so I chose this. So Shauna, you had changed the design a bit from what you had before. Why did you do that? I think it was too aged. The color made it look a bit aged. I don't know, I'm struggling with, she's, she's so statuesque. I just feel like the belt ruined it for her. And the hemline, and the fabric is heavy. Maybe if you had gone longer with it to the floor, it would have looked a little bit more elegant and the proportion would have been better. But the belt, that belt, just the belt, I don't know. When is your birthday, you Lee? July 5th, 12th. Well, promise me that next year you won't wear that dress again for your birthday, okay? You Lily needed something a lot more sophisticated, right? You know, wild and free is not you Lily. The belt, just take off the belt. Can the belt come off? That whole thing going on on her, you perhaps should have taken you perhaps should have taken the collar around, like here, made it into like That's a how shawl. She had it. That's how she had it before. Well, it was well we can't on. see it here now, but you know, perhaps a shawl to close, you know, to close it off here nicely to give her. And then you could have nipped the waist because you could have taken it down, you know, much lower. Okay, right? You see? So you know, it's just very. It's all too much, right? But um. Unity will get a nice address from you for her birthday next year, right? I'm wondering if this is you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if this is you because one, it should be longer. Two, you should have more cover-up on top, to be honest. The dress is just, it's just all over, but it's just not her. I would never, ever put this on you. I mean, honest with you. I loved the pattern of the, the material. However, I think the design could have been a little better for you, Lily. Thank you, Shoshana. Thank you, Lily. When I call your name, please step forward. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? This segment was brought to you by Garnier Fructis. L'Oreal Paris presents New Colorish Shine. Turn on your shine. Turn on your power. Lacquered color, addictive application. Turn on your attitude. New Colorish Shine from L'Oreal Paris. Turn on your shine. So put a smile on your face and get in the mood. Juicy party. Serious Jamaican food. Check out the menu, what a venue in your neighborhood. Juicy party. Serious Jamaican food. Fried chicken, stew chicken, in the juicy party kitchen. Run up whatever you wish. A key and selfish breakfast, lunch and dinner. Come chill and get your pill. Come eat with us, so delicious. So put a smile on your face and get in the mood. Juicy party. Serious Jamaican food. Juicy parties. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? When I call your names, please step forward. Stephen, Colette, Kiwana. Your designs were the strongest we saw this week, and one of you will be the winner of this mission. Kiwana, congratulations, you are the winner of this mission. It was unexpected, but I feel like everyone really touched and I feel like they really tried to convey, you know, the survivor's stories. So I feel like it was a difficult challenge. So I'm happy that I won. I'm happy that my survivor is happy and she gets to keep the dress, which is even better. Stephen, this one was a very close call. You have a fabulous model. You made a fabulous dress. Congratulations. You may continue on this mission. Call it work on the balance, the weight, you may need the catwalk. Mercy, Sashana, Michelle, the three of you had the lowest scores this week and one of you will be out. 
this was a beautiful episode. I know it was challenging for most of you because we all had somebody who went through cancer or you know somebody who has a family member who went through cancer and it was a very emotional week for us. But unfortunately, there's a winner and there's a loser. Mercy, I need you to pay attention to your proportions, okay? You had something beautiful going on and then you made a little mess. You have one more week to fix it. You may need the catwalk. Michelle, Sashana, one of you will be out. You both have beautiful clients. We thought this dress was beautiful but a little sad. This one could have been a little more suitable for the lady. Rochelle, you may continue on this mission. Please leave the catwalk. Sashana, that means you're out. Thank you so much. When it comes on to high fashion stuff, um, I'm very comfortable in that department. I'm an artsy person, but ready to wear stuff. It kind, I don't know, I'm not, that's not my strong suit. But I liked it, but I got what they were saying, and I, I felt it coming in a sense for this piece. I felt it coming, so I'm a bit disappointed that I'm going home now, but. Yeah, I felt it. On the next episode of Mission Catwalk. For your next mission, you will create a costume for the Campari Carnival Queen. So Rochelle, apparently they've been congregating, right? To discuss me. And I don't know why anyone would want to discuss me. I'm an angel. But I deal with you guys. Uh, what kind say? of problem I have? I'm a joy talk about your kidney, my girl. By the grace of God, let me not reach over and grab colleagues today. Like, there's no reason for you to give up at this point. You've gotten so far, honestly. Like, you knew you were going to get challenges that were really going to, you know, not be your taste level or your comfort zone. But you entered this competition because you clearly want to win. I'm not loving this one at all. By the end of the day, I would imagine she's going to be super uncomfortable. From the neck down, it's a mess. It doesn't look like a full outfit. It looks like pieces thrown together. Your designs are the weakest we saw this week. Who will complete this mission? Who will rule the catwalk? Well, I'm actually very happy about this challenge and this challenge is actually very personal to me because my mother is a breast cancer survivor and it was all about cancer. Um, from early out in the competition, my team was reduced to two, but I told them that we're light and ready to fight. For such a now, she's an excellent person. She has an amazing energy and amazing vibe. You know, sometimes they might drop off or they might not finish, but you know, she, you know, she helped them. So the camaraderie between herself and her fellow competitors was also excellent. And them applaud her for it. And them can't ask you. Because even if God is blind, God would have known say, Sashana is a star. I'd love to walk in your shoes. Cassandra knew that she, you know, was feeling some type of way. I, I would have spoken to her and I'm sure I would, I would have gotten through to her because I've been through a lot and I'm still here today. So it's just that it has, it has definitely made, it would have definitely made her a stronger contender. will complete this mission. Who will rule the catwalk? Mission Catwalk is brought to you by... MCBT card. I feel everybody, everybody. I feel everybody.